Hi! In this tutorial, let me show you how I can extract easily few data from a huge list of information like here, my client. As you can see here, I have more than 110,000 rows of clients from all over the world. Great, yes, my company is huge. So what I want to do here is just to extract a part of this information if I want to do a mailing or just to make an analyze on few clients. Of course, I'm not going to do that by copy-paste, it's a waste of time. So let me show you how, with few formula, I can do the job. So first, what I'm going to do is to create in a new worksheet, I'm going to use the function random between. Between what? Between two, the very first row of my table, and 10,000, it doesn't matter if it's not the last one, just to show you. So here, the function random between return a value between 2 and 110,000. So after, I'm going to select the information regarding this value. Also now, what I'm going to do is to copy this formula. Let's say I want to extract 20 people. But watch out! This function, like the function random, is recalculating all the time a new value. So for instance, if I fill here hello and I press enter, you can see that all the values, the random value, has changed. So how we can change this? Well, in fact, you just have to select, copy, control C, paste special value. And now you can see that instead of a formula, I have the value. OK, at this step for you, nothing really complex and you can do it yourself. But now, how oh, I can collect the information for my client in function of this information? Well, for that, I'm going to use the function indirect. So let's say I want to return the name of my client here. What I'm going to do here very basic, I'm just going to press equal and select the cell that I want, this one. OK, I know, it's not the correct rows. I will change that, don't worry. So just let's analyze this reference. First, the name of the worksheet, exclamation mark, and the reference of the cell. OK, with a function indirect, I can simply put the same reference between double quote and it still work. You see? So now I just have to remove the value of the row here and that's the magic. You press ampersand to link this string of character and the value of this cell like this. So in that case, the function indirect return the content of the cell B 89,885 from the worksheet source. And if I copy this formula for the rest of the other random number, I have all this information. Let's check if it works. Let's go here for the row 554 source. I'm a lazy guy, so I press F5, F5, and I fill B554, like this. OK. Exactly what I want. So now, if I return here, and this time I need the last name, so the last name is in colon. C. This time, I'm going to copy my function. Oh, watch out, what's the problem? Oh, yes, it's not A2, but B2, so I forgot to lock the reference. And to lock the reference, we have to stay focused on the colon. So I press one time F4, I have two dollars, that's not good. I press another time F4, the dollar is before the two, that's not good. I press a third time on F4, yes. It's before the colon, so that means the colon will be locked. Enter, I copy down again. Of course, nothing has changed. 
and I copy right and this time you can see I'm still on A2 that's great so here I just have to change B by C I repeat source exclamation mark C for the colon and A for the value here in this cell again I copy and it works everywhere and it's the same for all the other columns so now imagine you want the city the country the email address and the company this is what you have to do so the city is in colon E the country in colon G email colon H and company colon L so I copy four times change here C by E the city here the country is in colon G email address H and finally the company L I select all the cell copy down and it works everywhere okay it's perfect but now what you have to do is to convert all these indirect function because the indirect function it's a volatile function that means it's recalculating all the time so here for a short set of data no problem but if you want to do that for a huge range of cell your computer will be very slow so it's better here again to convert this with the paste special in value and let me show you another trick so I select all my cells okay ready for the trick I go here on the edge I right click with my mouse I just move right and return to my initial position I release the button right of my mouse and look what I have here copy here as value only done it's so simple okay this video now is finished but let me introduce you a new video made by my friend Oz du Soleil yes all the MVP were a great family Oz has created another video to do exactly the same thing with dynamic range and power query enjoy